what you think about that uh um, the pink house, the pink trap house that um two chain them got on the how me. I'm pissed. What make you piss off about it? Because I didn't get a chance to go see it before yeah, they it. Put, before they painted it. When they move when they gonna move it. They already painted over it. They're not already painted over it. For real, damn. I ain't even roll. I, I rolled by one time. They ain't also humbug shit. I ain't even know what it was. What it when was. They, 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 yeah, you know what I'm saying? Ben did it. I didn't. Even, they weren't even crawled up yet. They were painting it. When I seen it pop up on Instagram, I was like, "What the hell is this?" And, you know, I'm not even a big Two Chainz fan. You know what I'm saying? I follow him on another social media site on Instagram um, for business because he's um, he's in business with this guy, this young guy that I follow um, that I've been following for a couple of years. Is great with business right so um i saw that they were doing some business together so that's what i would see like little things but then i saw the pink trap house pop up i was like what the hell right and then when i saw what they were actually doing because it's like anybody or anybody that that knows our culture our real culture mm -hmm. and knows what the trap is about and knows you know what i'm saying what that entails that's not something you know what i'm saying that nobody would wish we would think we should be promoting right you know what i'm saying however his branding, right? His branding team, the guy that works that right. I was telling you about, like that team, they're phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. That was A1. the A1. best marketing technique for his market, for his brand, for his brand his lane that he could have did in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. That, that shit wouldn't have worked in suburbia. You know what I'm saying, California. Yeah. Right. That shit wouldn't have worked in California. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But Atlanta, the trap, that is synonymous. Like, right, right. Like, come on. So I, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Even though, you know, like I said, I'm not a big Two Chains fan. I listen to the album. There are a couple of tracks up there that I like. Um, but the album's great. But you that know, great. It, it, it's it's what he did with it. You know, he had free HIV testing. Right, One right. Day, yeah, yeah. He was doing paint and sips. Um, you know, paint and sips, which is a big thing out here in Atlanta. Right. You know, he was allowing, you know, the fans to come and take pictures and to come through and walk through the house. They I mean, it, it, he did something for the community. And it's a shame that that the community was so against it because of the culture. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they said they was. It was like an against, eyesore they, a little bit, they, but it was they, they weren't against it ne necessarily for the the, uh, the culture or whatever. It's more for the the parking situation. The parking situation. If you if you don't know about that area, it's tight out there. Right there uh, on High Mill, it ain't. Uh, it's basically a two lane. Uh, That's street. where that Bank of America is. It's right there with the flip burger, the uh, mm -hmm. all that. You know what I'm saying? Right there, right, right there. The, all that little, it's little tight. area, right? There, it's super tight. So everybody, you ain't got like one. A business might got three parking spaces. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got all these folk looking for this tourist place. They parking over and taking their place, and they ain't spending no, no money. money. He could have chose a different location. You know, you if, see what I'm saying? That's yeah. what they issue about. It's like, hey man, I we appreciate y'all coming over here, and this is bringing. I'm uh, saying, a uh, a uh, a uh, a. Uh, uh, some new clientele probably yeah it bring an attraction to the area but at the same token these folk not spending any money True. so if you a business owner you like hey what's the point y'all coming over here if y'all ain't gonna spend, spend no, no money, money. you see what I'm saying but on the other hand it, people should have took advantage of that and been like that when you throw your flies and out. Like, yeah yeah should've yeah had right 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 you did yeah. brought the old school uh, uh yeah. promotion game back out go hand in hand like look Y'all park here. Look, this is our spot. Whatever like that. If you especially got a restaurant or, or anything. Shit, if they like, were smart, they would have linked up with him and tried to see if they could do some type of collaboration. Because when they was out there doing those walkthroughs, they could have had anything. You know what I'm saying? A little goodie bag sitting at the door. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 right. But, right. you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But I, I appreciate it. I just wish it would have been up a little bit longer so I could have went out there. Right, right. It would have probably would have been if, if the folk wouldn't have started complaining about yeah. the parking. That's it.